Hello people, <laughs> I am back for another episode of Outlast, yes I know, it's hard to believe, um, but yeah I am back and I just really want to talk about this, I am not actually playing this, I was playing this live and recording before but then there was a problem with the audio and the video, they didn't sync properly which was because of memory on my hard disk, so I have decided to scrap the original recording and just talk over the gameplay. Um, just basically explaining a few things, like why I was, um, why I've been so off and on with my videos lately. I know I don't have a huge fan base, so it's not really all important as to why, as to whether or not I make a video or not. But for the people that do watch me and for the people that do enjoy what I do, um, yeah, basically I just want to say that. I had lost the motivation to record videos for a while, and um, that was not. It was sort of to do with what was going on in my life. I didn't really feel like I knew where I was going with my life. I didn't know what I wanted to do. So basically, I was thinking to myself, why start a gaming hobby when you have no idea what you want to do with your life? And I. I know I've said with your life quite a few times. I will try to get out of the habit of that, but I repeat things because I'm nervous. But, um, yeah, I just thought, well, why should I start a gaming hobby when I really don't know in which, which direction I'm going, what I'm doing whatsoever. So that's sort of the reason for that. But recently I've been having a lot of... Th I've been talking to people and having a lot of thoughts just basically what to do because I am a 19 year old teenager with no career sort of goals or anything I dropped out of college when I first went um, and then I when and then I was off college for about a year and then I was just playing games literally the whole time while I was it. and it sounds amazing for sort of a teenage boy just no responsibilities playing games it sounds like a dream come true but in all honesty as you get older that is not how it works and you do start to get responsibilities you do need to live on your own you do need to pay for things you need to pay bills you need to do everything and I know people who watch this are going to be like well I've heard this all before from my parents but I think it helps to hear it from someone who's going through it and doesn't really know what to do. And I still don't really know what I am doing, but I feel like I've got a better grasp on life in general at the moment. I feel like I know what is sort of the best option for you. And, well not the best option, I'm talking about the best option in terms of how you should figure out what you want to do with your life. And basically... All I've realized is that if you find something that you enjoy, like a hobby or anything like that, there is no reason why you can't turn any aspect of that into a career. Because in all honesty, the world is changing. There are a lot of career opportunities that, can, that you can do from anything. I mean, YouTube is a sketchy one. You can make a career out of it. But if you don't stay relevant as the times are changing, then people are just going to lose interest in you. And that is a reason why I think I it would be amazing if I could end up getting enough subscribers and viewers to, to um, make sort of a living off YouTube. But I am in no way going to rely on that. I am in no way trying to aim for that for my future career. I am just... It's just I've realized now that making videos and gaming in general is what I enjoy myself. And you can take aspects from gaming in general from any sort of gaming and make it into a career. And you can do that with just about anything nowadays because there are a lot of career opportunities. There are a lot of things you can do with your career. And I, it has taken me a while to realize that. And I... I just want to reiterate that gaming is what makes me happy, it is what I like to do, I'm not one of these people that is surrounded by friends uh, left, right and centre, so gaming is what I enjoy 
and it is what I prefer to I prefer doing to a lot of things which may sound completely sad to some people but in all honesty I think a lot of people oh my god I forgot that that jump scare happened <laughs> and the sound on my headset is quite loud but um yeah a lot of people my age I feel like will be able to relate to that and if you do relate to that and you're watching this video then yeah uh, leave a comment just saying sort of your experiences yourself because first of all I am not the most confident person so this video may turn out to be a complete disaster it may turn out to be really awkward and people might think like oh you're a loser but somewhere in the world even if the, a person hasn't seen this video they will understand where I'm coming from and it may give them a bit of sort of understanding of what they need to do and basically that's just how I feel I feel like if I try hard enough I can do whatever I want with gaming obviously I will have I, I will have to get a part-time I've got a part-time job at the moment but I will need to keep money go coming in and also but there's no reason why I can't figure out what I want to do at the same time so I think that's what I've been doing recently and it, uh, it has been very helpful for me and it's just something that I think a lot of people need to think about nowadays um, which is helpful I think for people because not a lot of people know anything about what they want to do and finding your career is probably one of the most difficult things you have to do when sort of growing up but um, I've heard from a few people that once you find a job that you enjoy you don't have to work a day in your life and I believe that to be very true um, which is the reason why gaming would be a great just an amazing sort of opportunity for me to take th through there are a lot of things I would need to improve on. I, I try and improve my YouTube videos. Obviously, I haven't been doing them very often, but since from when I started my channel to this point, if you go back and look at my videos, you will see the massive difference of what just talking to a camera and playing a game can do because it makes... I was not the most confident person at all when I started making videos. I didn't I wasn't speaking for long periods of time. I wasn't doing anything like that. But it really helps just talking to a camera. Even if you're not talking about anything important, it doesn't matter. You can talk about whatever you want on YouTube and I think that's why YouTube is sucks is such a success because people can just be themselves on YouTube. Maybe not these sort of really high profile YouTubers nowadays but I'm sure that if they wanted to be themselves then a lot of people would not judge them whatsoever um, which yeah which is why I think YouTube is such a success because people can just do what they want and they have these sort of memories to go back to and I think that is why I really enjoy the idea of YouTube because I have a terrible memory and I like to look back at my videos every now and again and just remember what I said on that day because sometimes I really cannot remember what I've said <laughs> so yeah I think I think that's just why I love doing videos so much I don't really I know I can't really say anything because I haven't made videos recently but when I was making videos every day I just know that that was the feeling that was going through my mind and I know the topics have changed a lot while I've been recording this, but I think it all ties together nicely. Um, some people might not understand where I'm coming from. Some people might understand exactly where I'm coming from, which which is great. And I will. It would be brilliant if you could leave a comment just saying your experiences, maybe to make me feel like I'm not as alone. Um, but I, yeah, I, th I do think quite a few people will understand understand this video and. Um, I just I really want to be a sort of person on YouTube who interacts with their subscribers not on a personal level like ultimately but uh, just on a more a more personal level than a lot of YouTubers nowadays 
um, because I think that's sort of like the path I would like to take with my channel. Um, so yeah, anyway, <laughs> I am going to end this episode here. Um, if you have enjoyed the topics of this video, um, then let me know. I will. I won't keep the format of this um, video the same. I will go back to being jump scared and scared the shit out of for next episode. But I just want to explain why I have not been making the videos, and I've been promising that I would, and then I haven't. Um, but basically, that's going to change, and. I have realized now why I like to do videos so much and why I'm going to continue doing videos. So yeah, um, anyway guys, this has been Crowbar. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like just because it will be amazing. Um, so yeah, I will see you next episode guys. Uh, this has been Crowbar. Bye bye.